See, we are going to discuss dropshipment inter internal sales orders. Okay. Switching over to order management. I'm switching to order management. I'm trying to find the sales orders. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to find the sales orders for which we discussed yesterday the source type should be external. Whenever it is external that is called to be drop shipment. Now let us see what are the sales orders. Yesterday we have taken the example like we have taken the example like external sales order. This is the external sales order, right? Let us take sales order, order organizer. I want to find what is the order number? This is 100,363. 100,363. What is the order? Let us find. In the shipping tab, we have seen the source type is external. See, I told you for the drop shipment we are going to approach to the supplier and supplier is going to ship the item to customer ship to location. This is customer ship to location. If the customer, for this customer, this is the ship to location. The PO that has been created because the source is external, we are going to approach the supplier. Supplier will ship the item directly to the customer. We will ask the supplier, we will we will create a purchase order with respect to supplier and we will ask the we will ask the supplier to ship the item directly to the customer ship to location. But in the lines, have you observed here in the shipping tab we have source type is external whereas receiving organization, can you see this? Receiving organization. Why? We are going to receive logical receiving, right? Yesterday we, we discussed A is the customer. Customer approaches B. B is the company and we are using Oracle application. We are working for B, let us say. We are the end users. I am the sales guy and I am working for B. As soon as the customer approaches A, A customer represented by A, A approaches B, B is the company. But B maintains inventory items but only thing is this item will not be maintained because the source type is external. So when, is it, when it is external, we are going to approach to third party. The third party is nothing but supplier. That is nothing but C. So supplier ships the item to directly A, who is a customer. Whereas we raise the purchase order, B has raised the purchase order in favor of C. So with respect to purchase order, we will have AP invoice with respect to supplier. As we have the sales order with respect to A as a customer, we are going to have air invoice. That's what we discussed yesterday. But we are not receiving any item, physical item, but instead if you want to raise an AP invoice, if you are having standard in standard receipt routing, then receipt should be there. So logically you are receiving. That logical receiving should be done in which organization? This is the organization, DSO. Similarly you can have M1, D1, M2, M4 in vision instance. Okay. Now Yesterday what we did, yesterday we copied and we created sales order and after that this is the sales order right, we created and today also I am going to repeat once again, so complete cycle. Let us observe the status, very important, I remaining things you have to do, okay, I am giving uh, majority of the th uh, majority of the uh, concepts we are going to discuss but only thing is some of the th concepts you have to work out. So this is the sales order we have to create with customer and respect to order type. So you can have drop shipment order type different, uh, separately you can define. Tomorrow we are going to discuss. And 
and after that in the lines we are going to have all the items in which we have to make sure the source is external source type is external in case it is drop shipment order then receiving organization should be there because logically you are going to perform a receiving now let us go to order this is order number firstly I am creating another sales order go to actions copy okay I want to create customer PO is referenced by another order order has been created what is the order number this is the order number this is the order number now continue F11 let us open the new order that is the new order control F11 it is just entered we have to book it go to lines all the information has been copied go to shipping same DSO and external and we have to book the order let us book the order order has been booked but credit check hold has been applied continue go to actions to release the hold otherwise you cannot ship it release the hold I am going to go to actions once again I am showing you go to actions if you scroll down you can see release hold somewhere this is the one click OK enter the reason why you are releasing the hold okay progress I told you progress workflow release hold has been released let us see the status status should be updated for drop shipment order for normal orders awaiting shipping is the line status the moment you book the order similarly for the drop shipment order if you book the order then the line status should be awaiting receipt is it awaiting receipt let us see F11 refresh it's booked still we have to progress how to progress go to action go to orders headers actions supply to order workbench let us see okay take the order number close this and reopen booked so let us run the workflow background go to inventory Whenever status is not updated, we have to go for workflow background. What are, the, what are the parameters you are going to enter? It's very important. Process deferred. Yes. Process timeout. No. Click OK. Submit. No. OK. Now, let us view request and find out. And what about this? OK. the same so we, we click it on supply workbench right this is what okay now go to your request find out whether that workflow background engine is successfully completed or not completed now let us open the order switch responsibility to order management orders sales order F11 order number control F11 see the lines have you seen the status awaiting receipt when it is awaiting receipt you tell me you already completed purchasing when you are going to make a receipt definitely when supplier supplies the item that means a requisition might have created we have to find out and that requisition has to be approved and that has to be converted as purchase order so that that has to be sent to supplier 
supplier sends the goods and you have to perform the receiving in the receiving organization logical receiving only but you actually what is the purchase order you are going to create let us see the ship to location that will be just as same as this ship to location keep in mind you know the procedure after PO has been created you have to receive it logical receiving but physically you are not receiving receiving organization DSO that is the logical organization we are going to create there is no inventory we are going to maintain in the DSO keep in mind what is the importance of in the line items in the shipping tab we have the receiving organization DSO does it mean that it is a physical warehouse where we are maintaining the physical item no Simply this is the logical organization for performing the logical transactions. It doesn't mean that we are receiving the physical item from the supplier, nothing. So just we created the requisition. What is the requisition has been created from the system? Let us find out. And you know the order number. This is the order number. Take this order number. Copy it. Close it. Have you tracked the order number in the notepad? Yes. This is the sales. External sales order. Okay. Now, I want to go to requisition that is from purchasing. Let us go to purchasing. Requisitions. Requisition summary. Go to related documents. First clear. Related documents. Sales order. Enter the sales order number. Press tab. That's it. Enter the sales order number. Press tab. Then fine. No records. Clear. Three six five. It should be created. Let us see. It is there. Why it is not taken? Fine. Yeah. Have you got the order? See, this is the sales order I entered in the requisition summary. And you can find the lines exactly as same as sales order. If you drag it to right hand side. Okay. These are adders. How many lines? We have six or seven lines in the sales order. How many lines have been created? We have requisition headers. This is requisition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's up to you now. For all these requisitions you want to create, one PO provided your ship to location is same, then definitely you can create, create same PO. In case ship to locations are different, then you have to go ahead with different POs. Because in the PO you can have ship to locations. So let us see. Now these are the requisition numbers. These are all requisition numbers. If you go to lines, each requisition, if you go to lines, if you drag it to right hand side, you can see order number as well. Okay. Where is that? This model. Okay, here this is the requisition number. This is the requisition number and it is the sales order number. 100,365. Now, let us proceed with the requisitions and purchase orders. Now, close this. It is approved. Of course, it is approved means you have to go ahead with it. You have to go ahead with purchase orders. How to create purchase orders? How to create purchase orders? You know the procedure. Let us take the requisition numbers.
okay these are the requisitions have been created what is the sales order number this is the sales order let us track by that number so dropship prs requisitions okay to be saved fine now close this auto create clear i have to create purchase order from the requisitions how to create let us see now you know the ship to location if you enter by ship to location you can easily find out but directly you know what are the requisitions have been created by today and for those requisitions you want to create purchase purchase order then you can enter any of the parameters then find so preparer myself find i have created this see only same these are same okay first seven first seven now let us see three to three four six very three four six yeah here it is you have to select this then three four five three four five where it is three four five okay it will be there somewhere three four four there is three four four what else three four two three forty two okay so this one is okay and this is also okay anything else like three forty three forty one and three forty four and five 345 345 then 346 where is that 346 somewhere 346 all the image have selected yeah it is there already now standard PO I want to create automatic okay who is the supplier who is the supplier let us say I want to create it for a supply for this supply first one okay let me take create that's it see PO has been created what is the PO this is the PO number This is the view. Now, you know what is the next procedure. PY has been PY has to be approved. These are the lines: quantity, price, go to shipments, ship to location. Have you observed? This is the customer ship to location. Have you got it? Okay. Now, in the distributions, charge account is very important. This is the charge account. It is important. That's it. For every line, shipments, ship to location will be there. Then, distributions. Approve it. Okay, this ship to location. This is supplier ship to location. Okay, now select. Let us take something. So is there any DS for just time checking? 
Okay, let me select anything. Now, <coughs> I have to approve. Cancel. I want to select this as, let me take boost or anything. Approve. Submit. You know that the pivot has to be approved. Okay. So it is incomplete means in the approval hierarchy we couldn't find the so to whom the approval is not found that is the reason it's not going but it is simple it is your work now pivot has to be approved okay get it approved then receive the items at dso that's it what is receiving so after getting approval what do you have to do you have to go to receiving what do you have to do receive receipt should be made again is the pivot in which organization? DSO is the receiving organization. Dropship. Okay. That is logical organization. There is no item at all in this organization. Then enter the purchase order number. Find it. You make a receipt. Next, after against that receipt, you have to make a receiving transaction. Oh. If it is four way, you have to do three way. You have to make a receipt. If it is two way, directly no need to prepare the receipt also. You can this is what drop shipment the remaining activities you have to complete okay now come to IRISO internal requisition internal sales order what is internal requisition I told you the example Tata Nano you have to get it from Gujarat to Hyderabad so Gujarat we have the inventory organization where manufacturing is going on and they have the stock Hyderabad there is no manufacturing it is simply a distribution center. What are the items they want? They get it from Gujarat, especially Tata Nano items. If you want Tata Nano from Gujarat, you have to request. What is that request? That is nothing but internal requisition from Hyderabad to Gujarat. Gujarat has to deliver the item to Hyderabad. How we are going to ship the item to the customer? It should be sales order. So there should be a sales order from Gujarat having shipped to location as Hyderabad that is nothing but internal sales order simple let us see that now see how to create internal requisitions requisitions are very simple we have to enter the details whereas for IR ISO this should be internal requisition let us quickly go through that clear type as internal okay now I want internal some of the internal requisitions have been created uh, during let me see the internal requisitions from 1st to 31st click OK Sorry, first two. Thirty first. I want internal acquisitions. See, these are all internal acquisitions. Okay. What do you have to do? Any internal acquisition. If you go to lines, see, just now I found headers. Have you seen this? If you go to lines, I told you for internal requisitions, there should be a sales order from the shipping organization. If you are raising internal requisition from Hyderabad, there should be a sales order from Gujarat. In case you are taking the example of Tata and Ocar. Now, let us go to lines. We have these many lines. The moment any requisition for which the internal order has been created, you will have a you will have a reference for this requisitions. A sales order will be linked. Okay, let us see. See, these are all sales orders. These are all sales orders. 
if you press down arrow see these are all sales orders have been created internal sales orders see okay now before that once you create internal requisition initially you will not be having order number what do you have to do after creating the internal requisition we have to create internal orders see we have many lines for which sales orders are not there let us see okay now this is the requisition let us take for example IR as this this is one example okay now you have many orders okay these are all we have these are the IR ISOs the other internal requisitions two requisitions I have taken now once requisitions are created this has been approved now what you are going to do we are going to create internal requisitions internal orders against this the internal requisition there should be a sales order from Gujarat how to create an internal sales order for that there is a request what is that request? Create internal orders. Submit new request. Click OK. Create internal orders. OK. Default parameter. Submit. Click OK. No. Find. Refresh. Create it. Now, what are the internal orders created that you have to find out in the respect to shipping organization means we have to switch over to Gujarat so switch responsibility Gujarat is a selling organization so we have to switch over to order management now here directly we have created from Hyderabad but Gujarat we are at Gujarat now these Gujarat people they have to import the orders that have been created from Hyderabad. So, there is a concurrent request. Go to view. Submit new request. Click OK. Order import. This is order import from order source internal. Keep in mind internal. Okay. Order reference. Any reference? See, these are all requisitions actually. These are all internal requisitions. Only these requisitions have been stuck in the lines for which orders are not imported. Okay. See, already this requisition, any one of these requisitions are not there here. Means for those already created. Now, Click OK. Submit. No. Find. Refresh. Complete. Your output. See. It will give some message. Copy. Okay. Now, any orders have been created. It will give some information. Okay. Now, there is no much use for this. Okay. Now, close this. After this, what are the orders have been created? That you have to find out by order organizer. By order organizer. In the order organizer, you have to clear, then 
we have requisition number here. See, here any requisition, all the requisition will be here. You can see many requisitions, even the, the requisitions for which the sales orders have been created. Everything will be there. Okay, 274. For these requisitions, of course, Okay, we have all the requisitions here. So if you find any requisition, you have to find with that particular requisition and find the sales orders. Okay, now let us see whether this, for this requisitions, those requisitions are not there anyway. That will be due to the issues like internal issues any especially any issues happens then for those requisitions internal orders will not be created you have to debug and you have to find out what is the reason and you have to sort it out the procedure is here we have to find the requisitions then you take any requisitions any requisition then you have to find it you have to take one requisition and find it If you want to see all the orders, then definitely this is closed. And now let us see. Order information and what else like uh, order source, internal, it should be. Now find. It will get some results for which, you know, through requisitions, what are the internal sales orders have been created against the requisition. Those details will be coming now. And after that, you have to take that internal sales order. Then you know the procedure. Once sales order is created, you have to ship it. It is as normal as, you know, as same as the normal sales order. It is very simple. Creating internal requisition. If you take any order, okay, any order, go to lines, it is as same as normal sales order. See, the status, of course it is closed. I don't want closed lines. Line information. If you, if you are unable to see the status field here, I told you yesterday, go to folder, show field, status, where it is coming, here it is coming, you have to hide this field, then, then only you can see that, status, okay, now let us see, anything, awaiting shipping, Open line items. Close this. It is as same as normal sales order. Don't you know how to ship this item? Take this item. Take this order. Now in the shipping, which organization? OHD is a shipping organization. What is OHD? It is internal organization here in the US. Similarly, this will be Gujarat. Okay, this will be Gujarat. And if you go to headers, ship to location, this will be Hyderabad. This will be Hyderabad. See the customer, internal customer, there is no specific customer name. 
have you observed this is a logical name given to our internal organization hyderabad internal customer that's it this is a kind of customer will be having a general name right why we are not having here the important setup we are going to discuss now for iso it is very simple once order has been created to create a order first of all you have to define the internal customer how to define internal customer it is very important copy this now don't you know the procedure how to ship this item okay i want to show you one more thing i want to change this schedule ship date save it i changed only for one line i have not changed it for second line okay now let us see you have taken the order number i will try to ship it what is shipping transactions order number what is the order number this is the order number that is the reason i am dragging in the notepad sorry copy this fine okay any change there is no change for normal sales order and iso creating iso procedure is different you should have internal requisition whereas you should define all the internal customer internal sites that's what we are going to discuss once requisition has been created create internal order is the concurrent request you have to run from the hyderabad from hyderabad organization which is the requester whereas order import should be done from the gujarat organization through order management then you have to find through order organizer what is the sales order has been created for a particular requisition number as a source of internal then find the respect to sales order then see the status awaiting shipping do as same as normal sales order over Next step is transact move order. You should head. You should take the move order number. Then transact move order. That's it. After that, make a delivery. Then ship confirm over. But before that, the important setup is defining internal customer. Let us see now. This is very important. Until and unless this is a very important question. Do you know? Have you worked on IRIS? Yes. And what is the important setup? Yes, item should be internal ordered enabled, and it should have internal customer, and the organization details should be linked to the internal customer. How? That's what I am going to show. Customers will be defined from the receivables, receivables module. Go to receivables, receivables super user. Go to customer, customers. I have taken the customer name. This is the name. Copy. Customer name. Go. That's it. This is the customer. Click on. When you create a customer, you should make sure. Okay. These are the. details we have the site what is the site customer will be having a site this is built to ship to go to details go to details when you go to details there is business purpose there is ship to bill to bill to ship to and this ship to has been linked to this bill to has been linked to ship to have you observed this now go to details and you go to details this is what very important internal organization should be linked and your internal location should be linked and you are you don't you want to specify the order type and all this up to you 
it, it, it will default. Like whenever you are creating a sales order, your order entry will be very, it takes very less time. So, but important thing is your locations inter organization should be linked. This is the main setup that you have to do for setting up IR, ISO. Apart from that, if you see the item, any item, let me sh show you. Go to inventory. Internal customer, then go to items, organization items. For Vista, then you take that item. What is the item? I didn't remember. Mm, okay, let me take this item. I know the order number. Let us take the IRISO. This is the ISO. Then let me take the item number. I want to show you the important attributes. Sales order F11. Here's the number. Control F11. Line items. This is the item. Take this item. Okay. Where it is? OHD. That is Gujarat. OHD is Gujarat. Okay. Let us think that. Then only you will understand. Change the organization. OHD. Gujarat. Okay. Now, go to items, organization item, F11, or find, this is the item, find. The important thing is, in the order management tab, okay, internal order enabled, is very impo important, shippable, internal order enabled, internal ordered. OE transactable. It's very important. That's it. This is what IRS for. Over. So remaining things we have to do. So everything I will not be telling. The main things for drop shipment IRS for. I told you. Then it is now it is your duty to complete the transaction by taking these helps and complete the transactions. You have any questions? Like, I want to discuss today, order management, drop shipment, this is what, in the IRISO, very important scenarios. And on top of that, tomorrow we are going to start the setup, main setups of order management. Especially order types, transaction types, document sequences, then all these things we are going to discuss. If you have any questions, please let me know.